Hi everybody, this is Munan and welcome to my channel, Kamala Mundan, I'm legend on this channel, School Mama Reality TV shows on my celebrities and my YouTubers. If it is your first time joining us on this channel and you really like my content, do not forget to press the subscribe button, like and the notification bell, and here there's other ways to support the channel, you can like the video and also watch adverts on this video. So listen you guys, we're going to talk about what happened in court yesterday when AKA and Dibs made a case uh, accused the two uh accused that are still in Eswatini what happened to them remember yesterday i did a story where they were talking about how uh the south african authorities had not submitted uh the application for their extradition back to south africa but before we do that you guys i want to talk about this story okay not basitane kumalo dragging umkulu no go go to court so that she can convince the court to send uh or Jacob Pamata to uh, prison, okay? <laughs> if you are South African and you have, you know, um, an elderly uh, parent or, or grandparent, you know, go to Izolo and today and tomorrow and maybe three more days, um, our grandmothers are supposed to be collecting their pension, okay? It's grand week. So you cannot be disturbing your grandmother taking her to court, you know? <laughs> To talk about things that were posted on Twitter, where she could be, you know, uh, collecting her 2,100 rand from the government. I was like, what? what? Yeah. Oh, Daga, you know, when you have a, a rich Makoti, you don't have a choice, okay? <laughs> when she says, let's go to court, you go to court because you might not get that grocery that she sends to you every month. I was like, yeah, I, I don't understand why the grandmother, the grandfather, and it, it's the in laws, okay? Anyway, this is what she's saying. She portrayed my husband as a pedophile and me as a woman of no value. This is Basitane Kumalo speaking to, uh, speaking about the case. This is a story written by Kama Daile for Zimoja. It says, Mita Mokulu Basitane and her husband, Romeo Kumalo, appeared at the Randberg Magistrate Court today for the sentencing of the author, Ucheki Pamote, Pamote, who was found guilty of criminal injury, defamation, and contempt of court. Probation officer Utoli Swabudaza from the Houghton Department of Social Development recommended that Jacob sentences should include a public apology and at least 5,000 to 8,000 rands fine as this was all she could afford. Listen, even Utoli Swa is like, listen, I'm not going to recommend for a woman to go to prison for tweeting, okay? <laughs> She's like, listen, Wasatane, the apology, and maybe, just maybe 8,000 rands is enough, okay? I can just imagine how much they've spent on this case alone for them to uh, get this kind of um, conclusion, okay? But it's not conclusion yet, it's recommendation, okay? But Daza also told the court that she had to omit some information from Jackie's statement due to personal health and private reasons. Apparently, you guys... Jackie Pamote is financially overstretched, okay? She's financially overstretched, so she can't afford to pay more than 8,000 rand. This morning in court, Jackie sat in the dock as Basitana took to the stand to read her, out her victim statement. Dressed in designer wear, guys, at least, at least she is upset under her designer wear, okay? <laughs> Imagine if you had to go to court today, you will have to be upset under your Mr. Price, you know, designer clothes. <laughs> and so it says here, dressed in designer way and supported by her husband, Romeo, and close industry friends. Today, Wasatan was like, listen, I'm not going to court alone. The next thing they're going to be thinking, you are not supporting me, you know, in this case. Because I do think Romeo probably has said, was, hey, God, like, my God, um, you know, we've done enough, you know. I think this uh, lady has learned her lesson. Shouldn't we let go? And then Wasatan was like, what? What? Without the orange overall. I, I want to see her in orange overall. And then she, he was like, you know what? It's okay, fine, okay, fine, let's go. <laughs> So her friends, some people are much allowed helping it. The only people that I use and which was seen as the I am much were in court to support him. Uh, but Satana pleaded to court, pleaded with the court to give Jackie direct imprisonment and detailed how the court case affected her family emotionally, mentally, and financially. But Satana said the matter did not only affect her family but also her extended family and guys go to basically in Ghanaipi and the legacy of her deceased parents adding that she was raised well with the strong christian values okay my elder mother-in-law 
and my father-in-law, you even say with the, the elder, the elder mother-in-law and father-in-law who are here today have had to live in shame for five years, okay? This lie affecting the church life, their church lives and interaction with extended family who read out the utterances of Mrs. Pamota in, news, in the newspaper, uh, getting calls to ask what was going on, okay? She's saying, listen, ukokonumkulu, you know, they're being gossiped about in church because of the tweet, okay? We stopped being invited to the family gatherings and social events, she said. Listen, this family is shady because if you are not going to invite me to family events because of something you saw on Twitter, <laughs> I think the real uh, issue here is how shady is your family, okay? Let's deal with that. She said very few people wanted to associate with her and her family during the trial. We lost a lot of family and friends at a very low time in our lives. And this also added to the emotional distress and trauma that we have already been through, she said. My family and I were devastated that our very own friend could share these horrible stories about us. And even more devastating is that some of them believed it. Okay, why is Jackie Pamota friends with uh, Basatana Kumalo? Because here she's making it sound like that. I have three children, Nat, who's 18, Hotsu, who's 11, and Buntle, uh, who is turning nine in July. These children have been deprived of a normal and happy childhood because other parents did not want their child, children around, myself and my husband. After what um, Ms. Mapamose had tweeted about us, she continued. I, I believe that you guys, because kids are on social media a lot, but I also believe that these kids were not having a normal childhood, okay? They were already not having a normal childhood. Maybe it was a positive experience. It was not normal in a positive way. And then there was this that was negative, okay? But Satana concluded that she and her husband are well-known public figures, and as such, their income is also derived from the image. We have both worked exceptionally hard over the years to build our brand equity and traded on our good names. I am a brand ambassador for a well-known uh, for well-known companies in South Africa. I have been in this court 51 times over the last five years, 51 times for the last three years. That doesn't make sense. Incurring costs on flights and accommodation, she said, adding her husband's image was also in, uh, tainted. Mrs. Pamosa's tweets portrayed my husband as a pedophile and myself as a woman of no value. This caused irre irreparable harm in, uh, to our dignity and character in the community. But we still ask the question, was it true? This is just me asking that question. Leading experts on social media law and weakness, uh, Emma, uh, brought by the prosecution, also took to the stand and, and stated that Jackie had uh, ample time to show remorse and apologize had she been remorseful. I believe that she needs direct imprisonment, regardless of how long that may be. I have come here uh, kind of as a cheerleader to the victims of cyberbullying. Okay, listen, this leading expert here is killing me, okay? <laughs> because she is coming like outwardly outwardly saying listen i support the victim here i support you know all of the drama here okay they were affected isn't she supposed to be neutral and just say in in cases like this this is what happens okay i have come here as uh kind of as a cheerleader to victims of cyberbullying anyway you guys it's very easy to support people with money okay it is it's very easy <laughs> you know uh, she admitted that to being biased in the matter as she stands by the Kumalo. She had to make that statement, you guys. She had to make that statement. Jackie and the prosecution will present closing statements and the sentencing will take place on the 26th of March. Listen, you guys, I've always said when I was doing this story that I feel like it shouldn't have even got to this place because I do believe that Jackie Pamotem, as soon as she realized that the Kumalos were serious about suing her or they were really seriously upset about what she had done and might possibly sue her, she should have just apologized. Whether what she said was true or not, it's a conversation for another day. And we might never ever have that conversation because we are scared of getting sued, okay? That is the reality of the situation. Even if what they were being accused of is true, we cannot talk about it because we don't have money to go to court 51 times 
in three years, okay? Two accused in the AKA and Dibs made a case remanded in custody in Eswatini. This is a story by Usboni Luzwan. It says two of the seven men accused of murder in Kinen, AKA Forbes and his friend Tibelo Dibs Mutuani made their second appearance at the Manzini Magistrate Court in Eswatini today. Brothers Usiabonga and Malus Indimande appeared in court in connection to their extradition matter, which was postponed to next Tuesday. Eswatini State Prosecutor Matoebo Ngumalo told the court that the Eswatini police were given a directive by the South African counterpart to confiscate all relevant items that may have been used in the commission of the M of the rapper and his celebrity chef friend. Some certain ex exhibits were fetched from the respondents. As per the request from our colleagues in South Africa, in South African police services. We have confiscated items such as cell phones, firearms, and any other items that is suspected to be relevant in the commission of an offense. Mumala told the court, uh, that's what he told the court, okay? He also explained that during the arrest, almost two weeks ago, the accused were in possession of four cell phones. He added that they had not received any comprehensive documentation from Peter Marisbeck Magistrate Court relating to the extradition of the accused. Listen, you guys, I work in Peter Marisbeck Magistrate I can just go there and be like, guys, uh, Eswatini is waiting for you. <laughs> the police force in Eswatini, yes, they're waiting for the document. Can you send them now while I am waiting right here? Hey, can you, can you send them? This is what is causing the delays. The defense of the accused song uh, previously said that they don't know whether or not the extradition will be opposed by the state. A lot of people in court today, we are still waiting for the application as I have been consistently highlighting to you that we have challenges in the absence of a comprehensive application. Guys, who is supposed to do this comprehensive application? What is the problem? Is it load shedding? Are they short of paper? You know, because we can go to ShopRite and, and, you know, take buy the bond of paper, send it to them. What is the problem? Okay, the ink in the printing machine, the emails are not working. What is the problem? Okay, you need a new router for the internet so that you can send an email to a certain. Let us know, we will donate because we do want this comprehensive application to be sent to a certain, okay? Tell us what is the problem. Is it typing the email? We'll come and type it for you, okay? <laughs> Something, you guys. Is it filling in the form? Okay. Is it is the form electronic? Is it manual? Tell. Let us know. We can help. Okay. The director of public prosecution made a statement in court today to say that they are not. They are also still waiting for the application. Therefore, we are struggling to move forward, especially because there is also an outstanding affidavit which seeks to address the detention of the cell phones that were confiscated from the accused. For now, we wait. Said Ongwenya. It's your for your patience, but trust me, you know, you 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 have to be even more patient with the South African authority. Uh, he added that security was also an issue for him when it comes to the extradition process. We need to consider how the accused will be handed over, but we will have this conversation with our South African colleagues once they have finished the relevant documents. Okay, that comprehensive application <laughs> they face charges of m um, conspiracy to commit m um, attempted m um, and unlawful possession of firearms and ammunition among others said um going listen going to south africa for some reason we don't really we are not really rushing to fetch them so i guess you would just have to accommodate them you know it's it's the way we do it in south africa you know <laughs> Manila spent what was it 21 or 27 years in prison. So for some reason, we, we seem to just want everything to take longer. You know, you know, I don't understand it, you guys. Ah, why it's taking so long? But yeah, it's our country. We love it. Okay. Anyway, that's what's happening with the two stories, you guys. Tell me what you think about this in the comments. Like, do you think that it was fair for Basetana to drag Umkulu no Gogo on a pension day to court? <laughs> And do you think, what do you think is the problem with this application here, guys? Because honestly, like we can donate. Mm. We can even buy you a printer if you need. To. You don't even need to print it. You just need to email it, okay? What is the problem, okay? You don't want to email it. You want to send the actual document. We can go to the taxi ring there, to the taxi that go to a certain and give it to the taxi driver to drop it off by the police station there by a certain something. <laughs> Just tell us what the problem is. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it before Pumagyona share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers in Tanda.